be here. Uh, previously, I've talked to you about the importance of prostate MRI and how it helps the urologist better target um, lesions in the prostate when they're doing biopsies. It also plays an important role in um, staging locally in the pelvis and to detect local recurrence in the pelvis. However, there's a new test, a new type of PET-CT, which plays an even more important role in the detection of recurrent prostate cancer, not just in the pelvis, but throughout the entire body, as well as um, playing an important role in the staging of intermediate or high-grade uh, prostate cancer at its initial diagnosis. So I thought I would take this opportunity to go through two PET-CTs and talk about this uh, new type of test and show you some images. So this is a patient who had prostate cancer um, had a prostatectomy seven years ago, had chemotherapy and radiation therapy, and presented with an elevated PSA level, which is a, um, a lab value that urologists and oncologists use to measure uh, whether there's a uh, recurrence of prostate cancer. And so this patient did have an increasing uh, PSA level and a uh, patient was there, therefore sent to us to look for uh, recurrence. The type of PET CT that we are doing here is um, a PSMA PET CT. So PSMA stands for prostate specific membrane antigen. Um, this uh, targets um, a, a, an antigen which is very specific to prostate cancer. Um, and so if it lights up on the PET-CT, it tells us that we have recurrence of prostate cancer. So um, image on the right here is a PET image. Uh, image on the left is a fused CT and PET image. And so let's take a look. So patient is lying down. This is anterior or the patient's front. This is posterior, the patient's back, right side, left side. And we're looking for areas um, which are lighting up. And um, first area that we see here um, is the bladder. This is normal, just normal physiologic excretion of this tracer agent, so that's okay. We see the ureters here. Again, that's normal and that's okay. However, we see this area which is hot at the left aspect of the rectum. It's a left perirectal lymph node. Again, we correlate that here. And um, so this is a metastatic left perirectal lymph node. As we go a little bit higher in the pelvis, we see another area which lights up, which is um, abnormal. Um, again, this is a normal ureter, which um, carries the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. Normal right ureter, we see some more normal physiologic uptake in the bowel. So we expect that, but we don't expect this. This is a left external, uh, left internal iliac lymph node, rather, which is hot. And so um, this patient had two um, uh, recurrent lymph nodes, and uh, we're able to help target these. And the um, uh, patient uh, then proceeded for further uh, radiation therapy. Next patient. I'll show you as an example of more widespread metastatic disease. Remember, I mentioned before, uh, one of the benefits of doing this test is that it enables us to better detect disease, not just localized in the pelvis, which we can sometimes see on a prostate MRI if the patient has had prostate cancer and we're suspected recurrence. But in this case, we're looking for uh, potential metastatic disease elsewhere throughout the body as prostate cancer can, um, can spread to... Um, to other areas of the body. And so I'll show you an example of that here. So this is a patient um, who had a history of prostate cancer, had a rising PSA level, um, had a history of radiation therapy in the pelvis. And so the um, uh, urologist wanted to uh, see uh, if the patient had recurrence of tumor, um, both locally in the pelvis or elsewhere in the body. So in this case, we're a little bit higher up here. Um, again, patient is lying down. This is the uh, patient's front or anterior, posterior is the patient's back, right side, left side. And um, as we are scrolling down here, 
we see a few areas of um, increased uptake. So we see in the thoracic spine here, posteriorly on the right, this is hot. You can see it again here, this sort of pink and yellow area. Um, we see another area, really tiny, hot spot here in the uh, left third rib. We see this tiny dot here, which is in the left lung. So this is a metastatic pulmonary nodule. We see other areas um, in the thoracic spine. Sorry, scroll past. Sorry, right here. So in the right aspect of, a, of another um, thoracic vertebral body. So multiple areas in the chest and the spine. We get further down into the pelvis. You can see this is local recurrence in the prostate bed. This is where, um, you know, again, we may be able to see this if we did a prostate MRI. Um, we could see a tumor nodule here uh, or abnormal signal in that MRI. We do see that here on our PET CT, but we would not have been able to find these other areas um, uh, in the chest or in the thoracic spine. This test in total takes about an hour and a half from the time the patient um, comes to the office to the time the patient leaves. Um, much of it is just waiting. So patient is injected uh, with the tracer agent and then they wait for an hour and then we scan them, do the PET-CT, which takes up to a half hour. Um, very safe, painless test. And um, we then interpret the study and give results the same day. So. Really, really um, exciting new test. This PSMA prostate, I'm sorry, PSMA PET CT, um, and something that I think uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of. Um, prostate cancer is the second leading um, cancer cause of death in men, and um, so you know to be able to have this is really, really important. Hope you found this informative. Um, until next time, be well.